uh, and previously Muffin, and Kless as well. Yeah, strong resume of victories here as we start this all Legend of Zelda Grand Finals. Mm -hmm. So now, nice spot dodge into Upbeat, but not really connecting to anything else. Fair into Bouncing Fish. Yeah, we saw in the sets before this that out of the spinning attack at zero, he does like to go for a back air to potentially extend off of it. Yeah, rather but the, than a simple up air. But the up to up is completely true. Oh. Trying to This is where uh Carlos has been putting in work before, just getting people stuck on the ledge with those bombs and the arrows and uh, all the projectiles. On the top of the platform. Gets around that F smash, but too much end lag with that down air. Mm hmm. Oh, that bomb connecting. And there's an up air. Not going to kill just yet. Catches the bomb, though. Nice parry into that up tilt. No, he's not going to be able to finish, uh, close that out with anything else. Up down smash tonight. Close out the stock. He hasn't have any invincibility, but couldn't capitalize on it. That's Forward smash. Probably oh. be another down tilt from Charlie. Not able to get anything off of it. The dash attack nearly killing. Mm hmm. Up, he getting himself back on there. Oh, but there's the Nair. That's going to kill. Sure how Nair. Kairos able to keep his percent in double digits as well. And mm -hmm. Still looking very strong here with quick neutral interaction. He ducked under the arrow. <laughs> didn't know that was a thing. Oh, didn't land that bouncing fish. Put the fair. Not going to kill just yet. Oh, actually, the up Oh, Air no. dodge down. An unfortunate mistake. He's going to lose that second stock at 23% due to that directional air dodge. <coughs> There's a bouncing fish. Not going to... Still, Charlie can't close out the stock. Finally able to get it to the F smash, but still a mountain of work to do for him. Mm-hmm. Up B. Oh, actually going for the dash stack after. And another Nair. Fair. Drag down fair into bomb. Only connecting with the fair one there to get the down tilt afterward. Down tilt to up B. That's going to be it. For sure. Nice two stock coming in from Kairos. Yeah, not only that, just a dominant performance from start to finish. Even with the mistake from Charlie, at no point did he look like he was dropping that game. <laughs> mm hmm. And now we're going to Smashville. For game number two. Charlie's still going to go chic. I'd imagine Charlie would at least complete the remainder of this before the reset with Cheek mm -hmm. if things start to go badly. Three, two, one, yep, but now uh, we're going to Smashville. The smaller stage. going to be a little interesting to see how uh, this is going to play out. Turning with a couple aerials. Able to capitalize off of the perfect shield as well. Even reading that tech roll inward. Oh, nice bouncing fish. Couldn't get that... Uh, nice tech coming in from Charlie. The four tilts from Kairos to keep him stuck on the ledge. How's he gonna recover? Oh, just like that. Getting him with a down smash on the roll getup, I believe. In the reverse direction, and no bomb hold is <coughs> gonna be forced to go straight into that bouncing fish. Up B. Trying to reset into a boomerang, but Charlie throwing out an option. Stock, what is he gonna do? Oh, that's a very unsafe up B. And now he's gonna eat up a lot of damage for it. Only 26%, actually. Yeah, they shulk that we're dealing with here, but maybe across a larger stage, probably <coughs> would have been able to drag him a bit further. Maybe. Arrow gonna get some damage in. Ooh. Fair to Nair to Bear. Into Dare. Should have done up air just to like complete the try, <laughs> just to complete all the buttons, you know. Able to get the pogo second hit dare though to put him out of disadvantage. Dash stack, nearly get him out there. Bounce needles, bouncing fish, not gonna kill. Is he gonna go for it a second time? <laughs> he went for a cycle up special. <laughs> he went for up. <laughs> he really did that. He didn't. You know, he, he didn't land on the floor to do another bouncing fish. He just no said, "I'm gonna." No matter the character he plays, Charlie will find a way to take both character stocks at <laughs> once. <laughs> he just did it. <laughs> he didn't even need to do it. He just did it for the me. <laughs> oh, man. This is not looking as uh, good as that round one for uh, Kairos, though. Oh, no. He didn't even he didn't even put him in a teching situation. <laughs> oh, that's just so unfortunate. 
It didn't put him in a tech situation. He just fell under the the platform. I mean, underneath the stage, and he just didn't have a bomb. <laughs> yeah, nothing in his hand. That's gonna finish in under two minutes. So even faster than game one was in the opposite direction. Mm -hmm. <sighs> and if some confidence was gone in that cheek after game one, it surely returned now. Mm -hmm. Muffin saying bye bye. Say bye bye, Muffin. Gonna switch to the Lavender Yank for this one. Mm hmm. Just landing with an air into Rapid Jab, just getting that clean percent. Oh, but now Charlie's got a little more initiative. Give him an inch and he will take a mile. The able parry didn't really do much. Able to wait it out. Mm hmm. How's he gonna land? No. Man, once again, he's actually just crouching under these arrows, like at the beginning, and then just hitting him with the down tilt immediately after. He spaced that down <coughs> though. Tethers back quickly to avoid any tilt, but then oh. F smash afterward. Yeah, nice read coming in from Charlie, reading that spot dodge after. Needles to bounce fish, once again, gonna be the killing blow. Ooh. Yep. Couldn't get that Nair. Rapid Jab's coming in. And now Charlie with <laughs> these full hops, though. Very interesting options coming in from Charlie. Well, their perfect shield is going to get a bit more percentage taken. Mm hmm. Dare. Ooh. Nice dare coming in from uh, Kairos. But the shield's the first hit of bear. Down throw into bear. Oh, it traded. Kind of unfortunate for Charlie. Jumps instead of going for the tech option. Nice parry into the up tilt into a bouncing fish. Oh, he didn't go for it. I thought he was going to go for it after the needles. He was pretty far, but this is Charlie, so. Yeah. <laughs> the, the parry after that last hit is kind of a flex, dude. <laughs> Pretty much three stocks up to one at this point. That spot dodge is going to be to no avail, but that short hop nair is going to finally get on the board. Mm -hmm. And there's the fair coming in. Rapid jabs. He's off stage. What is he going to do? Down throw into nair. Fair's coming in. There's the train. Ooh, and there we go. There's a reset. Getting him into a grab. Man, all this percent. 90%. Oh, he's going for the re He went for the wall bounce. Oh, he got the he got the bomb explosion. Good it's recovery coming in from Kairos. Who knows for how much longer, though. Already at 114 and the oh, bouncing read the jump. fish. He read the jump. He did the double. He did a double jump bouncing fish. He did the thing, indeed. Charlie the King only one game away from taking this entire tournament now. It's a pretty fast game, Grand Finals. Yeah, I mean, if Kairos takes this game four, this would be the fastest five-game set I've ever seen. Yeah. Is he switching to Ganon? Oh, yeah, Or is he, he just mousing over the wrong character? Now, uh... <laughs> Charlie did lie to me. He said he was going to go, Donkey Kong... But he's but it doesn't seem like he's gonna do it. Nah. It's gonna go Sheik versus Young Link all set long. Once more. I didn't think Kairos had it going in anyway, but the, uh, the amount of time he was hovering made me doubt it a bit. Yeah, like he has a Mario, but he also has a Bayonetta. But I don't see either of those coming out. I forgot about that game, actually. <laughs> he could have completed the Smash 4 throwback if he went there. He also kind of has a hero. Everyone kind of has a hero. Come on. Oh. Oh, no. That's not going to... That was a good recovery coming in from uh, Kairos. Very early. Able to get fair one again, but... He was just too high and not over the platform either. Oh, gonna get the tech going for a down smash immediately. 
directional air dodge, and he's out of a jump. Is he gonna make it? He is. No, just enough. Oh, a nice up smash to cover the that short off from Charlie. That arrow not gonna connect. Actually, getting hit by the by the ooh near. That's a move. Charlie still uh been he's been playing very patient. <laughs> like. He's been playing very aggressive, but at the same time patient. He's kind of reacting more to like what Kairos is throwing out there and punishing accordingly. Yeah, both Kairos and Charlie at very high percents. Oh, there's a forward tilt that's going to take out the stock. Yeah, missed the snap to ledge entirely, and the forward tilt is going to be the quick punish. Mm -hmm. Up air? No, not going to connect. There's a down tilt to an up air. That's it. Charlie, a bit of a dash dance psych himself up for what could be the final game of the tournament. Mm -hmm. These bears coming in. Oh, yikes. 54%. Kairos kind of getting himself a bit of a lead. There's a dash attack. What is he going to do? A lot of ledge pressure, but Charlie not getting hit by any of it. Arrow into short hop nair. Into full hop nair, actually. Mm -hmm. Arrow into up air. That was some susty high. Not quite sure what was on display there, but either way, Charlie's going to go sailing off the top after that one. Mm -hmm. Oh, Nair. Yet again, down tilt. Forward tilt. Ooh, trying to go for that drag down up smash, but that platform's a little high. So, it, it, he might have been like a... He might not have been able to land in time. And I'm pretty sure it's not completely true, regardless. Yeah, you have to be pretty much inch perfect yeah. with that diamond cutter if you want to land it off of the drag down. Oh, nice read coming in from Kairos. Oh, but he, he's been crouching under that all day. Oh, that was a little ambitious. Charlie had the read, but he didn't actually capitalize on it. Oh, there we go. Yeah, he does get the diamond cutter out of the drag down. Charlie still very much in this at 69%. And here we see another fair string coming into the grab. To bouncing fish. Up bears coming in. And there's a dash attack. Ooh. Already now take the percent lead too. Ooh. Up smash, not gonna kill. There's a dash attack. Oh, he had it. He had the an opportunity to go for the bouncing fish, but didn't want to pull the trigger. Fishing for that down tilt to get the spinning attack afterwards. Oh, trying to go for the smash four, the smash four finisher. Oh, got him with the upper. He's dead. Kairos taking game number four. I think pretty much by default the longest of the four games we've seen thus far at just mm -hmm. over three and a half minutes. Yeah. <laughs> Still not very long at all, really. No, we could be getting out of here before midnight. All right. So, final game. We're playing on Kalos. In theory, this is a good stage for Sheik. You'd think, but that side platforms, you are able to get dragged down very close to the ledge where you're pretty much forced to pick a direction to DI almost immediately. On top of that, you have those walls, which kind of give you extra ways to recover. Sheik also has the wall cling as well, which could aid in some specific recovery mix-ups. Mm -hmm. And also could use that whole wall, that entire wall as a bouncing fish um, spring, basically. Yeah, just a barrier. Yeah. Oh, he just caught the jump read again. Yeah, that's not going to work out for uh, Kairos. He's going to die. He got a bomb. He's not going to have the avenue back to the stage. Ooh, 30%. Quick, quick damage in the drag down. Oh, my word. Almost got the jump read again. Unfortunate for Kairos. He didn't get the spike hitbox. Nair. Another Nair. Ooh, yeah, he's just throwing out these Nairs, just trying to get him into a position. Oh, there we go. <laughs> the drag down up air to fair to up air. Putting him off the talk. Charlie the King, one stock away from taking it all, but Kairos has to make a monumental comeback. Mm -hmm. Up B, dead. That's the beginning. 
Ooh. Will there be a storybook ending for Kairos? It wouldn't be a storybook ending. It'd be a sorry book reset. <laughs> like, it'd be a, we'd have to go through a whole nother. You'd have to go through this entire thing again. <laughs> well, there's always another chapter, isn't there? Yeah. It'd be the sequel, bro. <laughs> But this is not going to be, this is going to be really hard. He's still a stock behind. 40% onto that final stock. Only 27%. Mm -hmm. Looking a lot more doable now than it did about 30 seconds ago. That grab did not reach. Basically in his shield too. Oh, nice dare coming up from Kairos. He's made it pretty much all the way back now. Charlie has to be careful here. You can tell he wants to go home now. <laughs> oh gosh, going for that bouncing fish. Going for oh. the ball. <laughs> oh! Oh! He's off stage. What is he gonna do? No, he goes for the ball cling. He's on he's on the corner. Oh, this is it. He's dead. Oh wait, wait, did he charge it? <laughs> he's gonna live for who knows for how much longer. Able to get the short hop there. Narrowly avoids the bouncing fish for what is the third time any one of those would have killed. And bouncing fish read the jump get up, and that's going to be the tournament, everybody. Charlie the King. It's unfortunate for Shinta. He wanted to play, <laughs> but ruining all the friendly fun. <laughs> there were a few twists in the plot, but no surprise ending. Mm -hmm. Charlie the King is your Hollywood Action Tuesday's number 91 champion. Yeah, for uh, Game 5, that was uh, very long. Yeah, uh, much longer than the first three games, for yeah, sure. Yeah, for sure.